welcome again. This is Robert Shine, Managing Director, Partner of Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Thank you for joining us on our Friday Insights Edition. This is Friday, August 19th of 2022. And today, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the strong dollar. So on Friday Insights, we take topics and we sort of unpack them, go a little bit deeper and explain what they mean, uh, what's happening with regards to either macro or microeconomics sometimes. Uh, and then we actually talk about the benefit, the benefit to you as a client. So let's get right to it. So year to date, the dollar has strengthened significantly relative to other currencies. Call it, let's say, the pound uh, or even the euro, very specifically on the euro. And now what does that mean for, let's say, the U.S. consumer? What does that mean globally? And what does that mean for corporations? Well, let's start with corporations. Uh, you know, if it's a global corporation, we just saw the most recent earnings reports. Uh, a lot of companies are multinational now. A lot of companies are global. So they get a large percentage of their revenue across outside the borders of the United States. So it's their currency trade. It's called an FX trade. And some companies actually hedge against this on their balance sheet because it's such a significant basically a uh, portion to the bottom line. So that's a very important uh, factor when we're looking at earnings or we're looking at corporations making money and then how it actually translates to ultimately the profitability. And that's the stock price at the end of the day. So we at Blanky Shine Wealth Management, our investment management team, take special notice when we're seeing some trends out there, such as a strong dollar. Now, as, as a, um, certain companies, some better than other, others, uh, whether the storm of a strong dollar, some companies actually take advantage of it. And there's ways of doing so. We're doing that for our clients as well as we position portfolios to take advantage of a strong dollar. Now, why is it happening? Well, that's the first step. It's a 20 year high right now. We haven't seen this since early 2002. And the, and the reason why it's happening is because our United States Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, we talk about the Federal Reserve all the time. This is another indication why the Fed is so important because they're raising interest rates. So they're raising interest rates. And think of it this way. If you have four banks across the street from each other, right? And one bank is offering a CD rate at 3%, 3%. And the next one is at 250. The next one's at 1%. And the next one's like not paying anything on your money. Where is all that money going? It's going to go to the 3% CD rate. It's no different than global currency. So we're raising our interest rate. Uh, not that we're the highest interest rate, but we're also one of the safest interest rates, if you will, with regards to backed by the full faith and credit United States. So if you're thinking about, you know, globally speaking, and, you know, interest rates are going up and you're not getting any money in ter terms of your currency. Uh, that's one of the factors. Now, relative to other central banks, so the um, European Central Bank and a few others, they're not raising. In fact, if you look at Japan, they are accommodative. So their central bank is being accommodative. They're not raising. They're not being aggressive. They're dovish is what we call versus hawkish. You know, our central bank is hawkish in terms of all the rhetoric that we're seeing and all the actions that are playing out. That being said, that's why we're seeing the disparity right now and then parity in terms of the FX trade, global economy. We just talked about that. What is the silver lining? Well, one, we can take advantage of companies that are well positioned to one, either hedge it on the balance sheet or two, uh, ultimately uh, that are, aren't oh, so exposed to global uh, you know, global uh, international uh, sales. So we're, we're down the capital spectrum. So mid and smaller cap companies, that's why we have a balance and a diversified portfolio for our clients. So smaller the company, let's say US based, uh, they're insulated from, let's say, having their revenues being reliant upon the global economy or the global uh, uh, FX trade. So the US dollars come back a little bit in the last couple of weeks, but it's built, still been persistently strong. When it will turn over or, you know, Rob, if and when is it going to turn over when our U.S. bank or our Federal Reserve slows down. So when they pivot and they start being so aggressive on raising interest rates, we will then see the dollar then uh, ease off a little bit and we can see more parity come back in line on the global uh, currency markets. Now, that's also going to be a good thing, another trade to take advantage of, which we will position our portfolios in the future. That could be in the 2023 mark. Uh, in the meantime, what do you and I do at home? Well, if you want to go to Europe right now, right, we've got sort of hopefully all the, you know, pandemic stuff behind us and everyone's healthy and safe right now. And, you know, obviously airlines are higher priced right now with regards to their pricing. I mean, I've been looking at some tickets myself for our family. Um, and, and so it's, they're still a little bit pricey because of energy. That's another component. But let's say in the next weeks or months ahead, um, the airlines sort of ease off and their prices come down, I will tell you, take advantage of the euro right now, right? One to one. Uh, and so that parity 
is really an advantage to us. And so that's the silver land lining. If you haven't traveled for a while, like just about everyone in the last couple of two to three years, this could be that opportunity to say, hey, wait a minute, let me take a look outside the United States uh, because at least it wouldn't be in the future, it used to be a 20% premium. So you're getting sort of a discount, even though it's one to one right now in the Euro. Uh, take a look, take, a, take an advantage of um, right now where we are on the US dollar relative to global markets. And hopefully that's a benefit and you'll have a great experience as a result. So that's our Friday Insights edition. Thank you for watching. Again, share with friends and family and have a healthy and happy, safe weekend. Take care.